Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I wanted to talk a little bit today about this idea of, again, parental alienation and how so many protective mothers reach out to me and protective fathers actually reach out to me to explain that this other parent is trying to alienate their children from them. There is no doubt that there is a harmful person who is maliciously fracturing the attachment that your child has to you. We don't use the word alienation because it is co-opted by abusive, in fact, very often by abusive fathers. And in that, mothers oftentimes are losing custody simply because they are trying to protect their children. Okay, so what I would love, right, is if we all looked through this attachment lens, every single child needs to have, I mean, virtually every child needs to have a strong attachment, a secure attachment to a protective parent, to a caretaker in their life. Of course, there's some children who never have this and are okay and grow up healthy. We see this over and over again, but overall, children do really well when they have a secure, healthy bond attachment to a protective parent. The problem is, is that when children are growing up in a situation where there is a coercive controller, I believe these coercive controllers start day one. They know what matters to the protective parent. They know how important the child's well-being is, how important it is that children are safe physically and psychologically. This protective parent loves these children implicitly and authentically. And the coercive controller can see that. They can see clearly how much these children matter to this protective parent. And so from day one, they begin in some ways to diminish the adult victim. We see it over and over again, right? You lose your autonomy, your sense of understanding about what's happened. You lose your clarity about what's healthy and unhealthy. You may be betrayed and you forgive over and over again. These are all patterns of behavior that people who are perfect prey, as my podcast suggests, do because, because they're good human beings, because they, they want things to work out. They are loyal to a fault. So, of course, if this is happening with the adult victim, we truly have to understand this is happening with the children. They are also experiencing this stripping away of their agency, this inability to see clearly, this trauma bonding, this cognitive dissonance to the bad, as Dr. Jennifer Fried explains, the betrayal trauma that they have over and over again, knowing that clearly these children are really in a bind and they are being told that their protective parent maybe doesn't love them very much, or is always tired, or should be on medication, or is the cheater. They're being told all of these things because the coercive controller wants the child to feel betrayal, wants the child to feel betrayed by that protective parent. If that child can feel betrayed by that protective parent, that child will not have agency, will lose their voice, will feel unsupported, and may be more likely to align with the abusive parent. May be more likely to align with the abusive parent. We have to imagine these children, their brains are suffering. It is broken brain when over and over and over again, everything that you believe is safe, you no longer can trust is safe. So I hope that's helpful. I hope you have a great day.